Good day, one what fly squad. Welcome back to another Thursday trip report. I'm at Adelaide Airport and today I'm going to embark on a journey to Europe and America. My first leg of the journey is from Adelaide to New Delhi on board Qantas A330. Uh, it's, an, it's a relatively new route for Qantas and it's Qantas only current international route from Adelaide Airport. So I'm really excited. I also haven't checked out the new international departure area yet. So extra extra point for the excitedness. Now without further ado let's go and check in. So Adelaide Airport only has one terminal so whether it's an international or domestic flight when you fly Qantas you check in at the same place. After that you can go through the domestic security. Hello. Uh, there you go. Yeah good thanks yourself. Uh, gold. Gold. Good good luck. Luck. It's business Thank you. and gold here. Good to know. Thanks. <laughs> The security is quite busy today, but with my Qantas Gold status, I could use the priority lane, and that took about five minutes. So I just passed security, it wasn't too bad. Um, so you know you go through that not quite x-ray thing where you spread your arms apart, so apparently there was something near my feet, my left feet, so the uh, security dude wanted to part my feet. Uh, he did it and then he was like, oh dude, I like your socks, I'm like, oh, that made my day. If you have lounge access, you use it before you go through international security and immigration. So do remember to leave enough time before your flight because you have to go through international security and then immigration. It's also a few minutes walk until you get to the international side of Adelaide Airport. So breakfast buffet is available this morning. You have a small selection of hot food and continental options. Thank you. Barista made coffee is also available. I just got a chai latte. So here's my breakfast today, scrambled eggs and a bit of baked beans and my chai latte. I'm not eating too much right now because later on board they're going to serve lunch and dinner. Hello, before I leave I'm going to show you the shower room of course. So, um, the cohook, it's got two legs. It's a very nice and beautiful shower room. The only drawback I guess is how there's no individual shampoo, conditioner and uh, shower gel containers. It's three in one in here, but I do like the shower head. It's, it's right above you, I guess. Now let's walk to the International Departure Lounge. I'm so excited. The gate is now open for our flight 69 to Delhi. So I just walked out from the Qantas Club opposite gate 21. So from here, you're going to walk back towards where you came from, the domestic security, and then towards the Virgin side of Adelaide Airport. Or simply follow the yellow signs, which will guide you to the international side. I'm a speed walker, but it still took me four minutes to walk. When you get here, follow the sign and go down the escalators. You'll first do the international security, so no more than 100 milliliters of liquid, and then you go through immigration. The two process took about 10 minutes. Once you're done, you'll take the escalators, go back up. On a busy morning, you'll see up to four international flights leaving at around the same time, including Jetstar to Bali, Malaysia to Kuala Lumpur, Singapore to Singapore, and our flight to Delhi. This is a security announcement from Airport. Please ensure you do not leave any baggage or personal items unattended. Please remain our flight today is a Melbourne to New Delhi direct flight with a stop in Adelaide. It's a short one hour flight from Melbourne. After some refuelling, it will continue its way to India. Our aircraft today is an 11 year old Qantas Airbus A330-200 Victor Hotel Echo Bravo Quebec. I actually flew this aircraft less than a week ago from Brisbane to Sydney. You will find the trip report link in the description down below. Qantas started flying to India in late 2021, basically when Australia reopened to the world. Initially, the demand for flights to India was very high. Qantas was flying up to two daily flights from Adelaide to Delhi, originating from Melbourne and Sydney. Currently, Qantas only flies four times weekly from Melbourne to New Delhi via Adelaide, and they no longer operate the Sydney to New Delhi via Adelaide service. From September 2022, Qantas will begin flying from Sydney non-stop to Bangalore four times weekly. I've flown Singapore Airlines multiple times between Adelaide and Singapore. You can check out the trip reports in the description down below. There are now two officers checking our temperature and our vaccination status, and then we get the good to go sticker on our boarding pass. 
So what seems to be happening is that the passengers from Melbourne stay, the cabin crew change, uh, the new set of crew just got on board, and the older set's going to get off soon, and they're going to fly to India another day. Thank you. Hi, Hi how, how are you? you? Yeah, good, thank you. Yourself? Thank you. Good. Thank you. Get yourself. Yeah. My seat today is 24K, the second row in economy class. Economy class is laid out in a standard and relatively comfortable 242 configuration. Those seats on the A330-200 are almost identical to the ones on 737. I'll go through the seat features after takeoff. On your seat you'll find a soft pillow, like a really soft one for economy class, a headset which is not noise cancelling, a blanket, and finally a bottle of water. Your larger bags need to go in the overhead lockers and smaller bags under the seat in front. If you're in an exit row, all bags need to go in the overhead lockers. Please make sure that you're in allocated seats for takeoff with your seat upright and your seat belt or fashion belt family fastened. Tray tables for rest and bassinets must be sewed and window shades are ready today. You may notice a few changes to our inside experience if you have previously. If you have an electronic device, it's time to switch into flight mode. I'm pretty sure I won't lose my phone. But if you lose yours, please avoid moving your seat or trying to retrieve it. If you need to evacuate, leave all items behind. Slide leaning forward. Thank you. Thank you for showing respect to each other and our crew. Thank you for your loyalty. For your attention. Have a great flight. In just 1 hour and 15 minutes, Qantas Flight 69 is back on runway 23, now ready for departure for New Delhi.
Now let's go through the seat features together. So first of all, you have a USB port, and next to it you have a tiny little touchscreen TV. It's adjustable. Your tray table, you can't fold it, but you can pull it back and forth. You have a standard seat pocket. Leg room here is about 31 inches, which is okay, not too great. And underneath, between every two seats, you'll find a universal power socket. Every seat comes with an adjustable headrest. It's a bit broken, it won't really fold it. It's okay, I guess. On long haul flights, I really appreciate the headrest and this seat back cushion. Since this is a relatively long flight, I got myself some hotel slippers and track pants to change. Previously, my longest Qantas flight ever was from Toki Narita to Melbourne. Flight time just over 9 hours. Our flight time today is about 11 hours, making it my longest Qantas flight ever. With regards to your in-flight entertainment, you have plenty of movies and TV shows to choose from, including a few Bollywood movies like Saina and Kuda Havis. The problem here is that Qantas has updated the in-flight entertainment system, but they didn't really change the screen, it's still the old one from a decade ago. So the screen isn't quite responsive to your fingers, and it can be hard to navigate sometimes. Here's the flight map, we've still got a long way to go. Your other entertainment option is your magazine on board and Netflix on your phone. There's no Wi-Fi equipped on this aircraft. We're now halfway through May 2022 and they haven't changed the magazines from April. I'm going to spend the first two hours of my flight to watch the rise and fall of Abercrombie and Fitch. Uh, 6-9 up to uh, Delhi. And on the other underway, uh, we can give you our flight uh, arrival times. Uh, flight time of uh, 10 hours 55 minutes and we should be arriving in uh, Delhi about 15 minutes ahead of schedule at this stage at 5.45pm. Current time in Delhi with a five and a half hour time change is uh, 6.45am. Our uh, track today takes us across uh, central Australia leaving the Australian coastline uh, over here Peru. We'll be tracking uh, overhead to Bali in uh, Indonesia, overhead Singapore, up the Malaysian coast across the Bay of Bengal, uh, pointing across uh, northern India into Delhi. Uh, weather for arrival forecast uh, northerly winds 15 kilometres an hour, a uh, hazy afternoon, and a temperature in the high 30s. I'll get back to you just before we start our descent into uh, Delhi with an update to that arrival information. In the meantime, enjoy the flight service. Before the first meal was served, the cabin crew handed out arrival cards for India, but I won't actually need it because I was just going to go transit in India. Thank you, sir. Enjoy. Half an hour into our flight, we got our first meal. That's really, really impressive considering how I used to have to wait for two hours for my first meal. So today we've got two options, either a masala dish, which is vegetarian, or lamb with beans, which is the one I got. Along with the lamb, we got a focaccia, cheese and crackers, and a bottle of sparkling wine. I love it when they give out sparkling wine in economy class. It makes economy class way fancier than it is. So far, it's been a really good flight. The cabin supervisor in economy class personally greeted some frequent flies and birthday boys and girls and offered them some business class drinks, which I think they totally deserve it. There was also a baby sitting right in front of me and thankfully he behaved well throughout the flight. The cabin manager from business class also occasionally came down to play with the baby. Our cabin crew today speak English but they don't speak Hindi or any other Indian language but there were some pre-recorded announcements that I believe were in Hindi which I'm sure many passengers really appreciated. So that was a really really fantastic meal. The lamb with beans was delicious and I think the sparkling wine went well with the dish. In about 20 minutes time the cabin crew came back to give us dessert. I was such a messy eater, so before the cabin crew came back, I had to clean my table quickly. we still got about 10 hours to go and we're still over South Australia. If you're enjoying this trip report, just so you know, I upload a similar one every Thursday 12pm Hong Kong time, that is Thursday 9.30am in New Delhi or 1.30pm in Adelaide. So you definitely don't want to miss out, simply click that bell button and subscribe button so every time when I upload you'll get notified right away. 
The crew have now come back to give us hot drinks. I opted for a chai. Your other hot options are coffee and English tea. I've never had a chai on a Qantas flight, and I'm assuming that they only offer this on Indian flights. It's actually really good. It tastes like hot chocolate. The crew also gave me a piece of Team Tam. It goes so well with a chai. Welcome on board Qantas A33200 Economy Class Lavatory. Here's a quick tour of your lavatory. So nothing much here. You've got hand soap. That's about it for amenities. The space is okay. Fake marble floor. Uh, there's a bin here. Let's have a look. You've got tampons and rubbish and vomit bags. So here you don't find any like toothbrush, toothpaste, socks or eye mask. Maybe you could ask the cabin crew, I'm going to try that out later. Um, yeah, they don't have it in the lavatory or they don't give out a mini ticket as well. But they do have a hook in the lavatory, not on the seat though. Oh, that's okay. So would you have any amenities like socks? Yeah, yeah. 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 I've only got kiddie socks. Kid socks. Oh, so the crew just gave me a pair of kitty socks on one condition. I'll have to show it to them after I put it on. Surprisingly it fits so well, it feels like wearing a pair of ankle socks. Every now and then the cabin crew would walk down the aisle to give us water and snacks. We're currently flying over the beach resort town of Broome in Western Australia and this is when we're leaving the continental Australia. The crew just came round the cabin to give us sweet or savoury snacks. I got both of them and the white chocolate biscuit is so good. We're now halfway through the flight, about five and a half hours to go, and we're over Singapore. I love how the cabin crew on our flight always come down the aisle to give us more snacks and even bottles of water. No matter how many times you watch this, even as a foreigner, it doesn't get old. Many, many hours have passed and the cabin crew have just switched on the cabin lights for the second meal service. Just like the first meal service, this is a full second meal. And similarly, you get two meal options. One has meat in it, one is vegetarian. For drinks, I opted for Bundaberg ginger beer. And again, you get a bread, which is focaccia. So my hot dish is a butter chicken. Now let's do a taste test. The chicken was so tender, it almost felt like it was undercooked in a good way. Bundaberg ginger beer is alcohol free. The crew later came back to the aisle to give us hot drinks, coffee, tea or chai. And once again I got a cup of chai. Because this is a really long flight for an A330, Qantas cannot sell every seat on this aircraft, mainly for weight purposes. This is the Hindi announcement, you can barely hear it. Yeah. 
We'll soon be landing into Delhi Airport, so let's quickly conclude this trip port with Qantas right here, right now. Our journey today started at Adelaide Airport, in my opinion the best airport in Australia. I wish Qantas has more international flights from Adelaide. Anyway, check-in, very efficient. If you fly Qantas International, you must be fully vaccinated regardless of your destination's requirement. And if you were vaccinated in Australia, you must show your international COVID-19 vaccination certificate. Moving on to security, it was very busy today, but thankfully I was able to use the priority lane thanks to my Qantas Gold status. After that, I went to the Qantas Club Lounge, which is located opposite Gate 21 in the domestic side. Reasonably good food and good chai latte. There are also several shower rooms should you need to use one. After the lounge visit, it was a four minute walk to the international side of Adelaide Airport. I cleared security and immigration within five minutes. Half of our flight today boarded from Melbourne, so boarding at Adelaide Airport was really quick and efficient, not too many people. The A330 is a pleasant aircraft to fly on. The A330 seats are relatively wide in today's standard, but Qantas A330 200 variants do have older seats. Our crew today were absolutely amazing. I loved how the cabin supervisor in economy greeted some frequent flyers and birthday people, and the cabin manager would come down to economy occasionally to interact with the babies. The crew would always also come down the aisle multiple times throughout the flight to give us more snacks and water, and that is very much appreciated on a long flight. Furthermore, there was a passenger with hearing problems on our flight, and it was fascinating to see how a cabin crew actually knew sign language, and he was able to communicate with that passenger. Both meals we had were delicious. I loved how hot chai was available on this flight. It was very yummy. The chocolate ice cream and the snacks were also really good. I would however appreciate more if they had more fruits available. So overall this was a really amazing flight with Qantas. Very comfortable and great service. I think Qantas totally nailed the new service to India. From mid-August, Qantas 69 service will become a non-stop flight from Melbourne to Delhi. So if you're originating from Adelaide, you'll have to go via Melbourne and then kind of go back up north towards Adelaide and then India. Until then, if you were to fly Qantas from Adelaide to Delhi return, you're looking to pay around $1,100 in economy class. Your return flight will be direct to Melbourne and then transit on a 737 to Adelaide because currently the return flight is already a non-stop to Melbourne. So thank you so much for watching this trip report today, my lovely people. I hope that you enjoyed. And again, I upload a new trip report like this one every Thursday, 12 p.m. Hong Kong time. So don't forget to click that bell button as well as the subscribe button. So every Thursday when I upload, you'll get notified right away. You can keep up to date with me on my social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram and Snapchat, as well as Be Real, which I just recently started. If you want to make direct impact on funding my flights, you can do so with Patreon or PayPal. Patreon is a monthly or yearly subscription. PayPal, you do it anytime you want. So once again, thank you so much for watching this trip report. At the end of this video, after disembarking, enjoy a London vlog. See you there. Welcome to Delhi, where the local time here is 5.33pm on the 11th of May. As the seatbelt sign is on, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened. Smoking and the use of e-cigarettes is not permitted whilst disembarking or throughout the terminal. 
And just a reminder, carry on baggage may have moved in the overhead lockers and could fall out, so please take care. Don't forget to check your seat and seat pocket for any personal items. You must continue to wear a face mask as you exit the aircraft and in the terminal building. Please take all leftover masks or wipes with you and dispose of in the general waste bins. Once the seatbelt sign is off, where possible, please maintain appropriate distance between yourself and other customers as you disembark. If you can reach your mobile phone, you can now switch off flight mode. On behalf of all of, on behalf of all of us here at Qantas and OneWorld, we thank you for choosing to fly with us. If you're visiting Delhi, we hope you enjoy your stay, and of course, for those returning, welcome home. What seat were you in? 24. 24, 25? Yeah. You're London? Are you going to London? London. No. You're going to London yeah. flight, okay. So he said 25. Yeah, 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 you're with me, come on. Okay. <laughs> okay, please have my seat. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Private escort. <laughs> thank you. So. London, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Uh, yeah. Yeah, all the best. I'm close by anyway. I'm seeing a few clients. I'm going to eat it. So today I'm catching up with a few cousins who I've not seen for many many years and we're doing bouldering, not really my thing, but they want to do it. <laughs> Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And... We're now catching the tube back to central London for some dinner. We're at Tottenham Court Road and we're just here to check out the new Elizabeth Line. The Hong Kong MTR owns the MTR operation in England, which is also responsible for Elizabeth Line. And now just like Hong Kong MTR stations, they have people with a ridiculously big glove pointing you to where to go. It's now 11 p.m. so I guess it's time to go home and oh my god our train to home is cancelled so we had to take the tube to the closest station and then catch an Uber. Ladies and gentlemen welcome to Boston. For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and your cabin baggage stowed until the seatbelt sign has been turned off.